What's up, everybody? Welcome back. So we're about to react to this Steven Crowder video. If you don't know who Steven Crowder is, he is a political commentator on the right. He typically makes, in my opinion, like I used to watch some of his shit, right? And sometimes when he's speaking like statistics, this and that on certain topics, <clears throat> I can tend to agree with some things that he says or does. But when it gets to the antics, when it gets into the comedy I really most times don't really roll with that, especially recently, not even recently, but when the George Floyd shit was going on and he did like a whole reenactment of George Floyd, I just think as a as a human being, that's disgusting, right? Regardless if you think George Floyd should be a hero, worship, have statues, but to reenact the man's death or what looked to be the final moments of his life for I don't know what, to me personally as a human, is disgusting. So uh, yesterday... <clears throat> Picture started floating around of Lizzo, right? Lizzo's at Cardi B's birthday party. She was in clear sequence, see through dress. You can see the nips. Uh, I don't know if she had the uh, underwear on under that, but she looked like she was fully nude, right? And my first thing was like, you know, that's a little extra, you know, as a person who's had commentary about Lizzo, I think that's a little extra, especially seeing how she kind of feels a certain way when she sees comments about her and it gets to her just like i would assume it would get to a lot of people if you have a mass scale of people on your ass i understand that but i would also know that when i'm about to go and do something i know they're gonna be on my ass so i assume lizzo knew when she was about to put on his outfit and <clears throat> she was gonna step out People was going to be on her ass. She had to know that, right? And I've seen a lot of people comparing it. They was like, oh, but when Rihanna did it, y'all wasn't saying nothing about Rihanna. And Rihanna did have a sequence thing similar. Nipples out all the whole nine yards, right? But <clears throat> that's society. We already know what society is. Like I always say, we're trying to move into this utopian society where people aren't against this side and everybody's open everybody's loving that's not not the way it is man if me and the rock come to the party shirtless you know niggas gonna be like oh my god the rock you look amazing man nigga put your clothes on they used to say the same shit to dj Khaled, same shit to rick ross us big people we get discriminated against but we know that already before we step out into the building we know that so that's what happened to lizzo so this is Steven Crowder's video, right? No, no, no real, to me, this is no real comedy. This is just, to me, what it looks like is an attack on someone like Lizzo. And he also brings in Meg Thee Stallion. And I, and I have to, we have to talk about the Meg Thee Stallion comment. But anyways, let's get to it. So Lizzo is trending. Mm, uh, and I had to do my research and due diligence. All references are available at lot with, uh, with Crowder.com. Big trend. Description, because um, I, I, to me, I'm not sure that Lizzo and uh, 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 what's her name? Megan the Stallion are different people. The Stallion. Yeah. The Stallion. Megan the the stallion. stallion. But apparently they are. Mm -hmm. And by the way, just to be clear, saying well, because they're black. No, I'm saying because they're uh, they're fat and disgusting. That's true. I'm, not all. Okay. So first of all, like I don't want to say Liz Lizzo's fat. Like that's not, I'm not gonna say that. But I want to say she's disgusting, horrible, whatever. Right? She's fat. But to say Meg the Stallion is fat, right? Obviously, maybe his audience doesn't know Meg the Stallion, but just the viewers watching this right now. I didn't mean for that to pop up again. But viewers watching right now, would you consider this to be fat and disgusting? Now, I know white men, they love their little white women, little petite, no titties, no ass, just little as hell, skinny. They don't like body. They don't like big titties, big But I get it, right? That's the type of woman you want. But <clears throat> realistically and honestly, with Meg the Stallion, if you were to compare her to Lizzo, where do you see, and the picture don't want to load right now, but where do you see a big, fat, nasty woman? I don't know why he's trying to conflate the two. Now, do they both twerk openly? Do they get a little wild, get a little wretched? Yeah. But to also throw Meg the Stag in the mix and call her fat and disgusting, I don't understand the thing. Now, if you just said Lizzo's fat, like, that's just a fact. We well, ain't going to really fight you on that one. But to throw Meg into the mix, it seems a little bit odd, like... Why throw that name out there? What's the point of uh, that interaction? But anyways, let's continue with the video. Oh, black people look like fat whores. <laughs> fat whores. They're fat just whores. Just gel <laughs> together in my head. So Lizzo, uh, and I know you're saying, well, do you have the right to say that? Well, okay, look, if this is just, this is personal opinion, right? Some of what I say here is is subjective. It's conjecture. Right. So I believe the stallion is a bit thinner. A little bit, yeah. Which 
Might There's got to be a weird thing where somebody out. goes, somebody that goes by the stallion weighs less yes. than you. Yes. Yeah. It's like, hey, 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 what, what happened now? You, uh, well, I lost 30 pounds. I go by Megan the centaur. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? I still shake my fat ass in uh, mesh body suits. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. All right. So still the same thing. The moo cow. Just Megan yes. the miniature pony. Just 30 pounds left. Okay. So Lizzo. And also, Megan the Stallion has never been, like, I'm stuck on that part. Like, He's not a little guy, right? I'm not saying he's fat, but he's not a little guy. Like, if him and Meg were standing next to each other, would he consider himself fat standing next to Meg? I just don't get that part of the angle. I feel like he's just trying to group in, like, other black women to discuss within the conversation. It would have been easy just to stick on Lizzo. It would have been an easy conversation to have. But having the thing about uh, Meg the Stallion, I mean, just a little bit weird. This doesn't really make too much sense. And also, I feel like there's a way to have a conversation about lewdness and nudity in public and this and that without really being so nasty and, and people be like well you're just being sensitive it's like no or they'll be like oh it's just comedy like but was it like honestly keep it a buck <clears throat> Dave Chappelle shit when he says something about trans we say something about gay when he says something about white people black whoever the shit actually funny anything if you heard within the past 30 seconds on god honest to the hand of god was any of that funny or are they trying to mask, you know, kind of shit talkery in comedy to try to get a pass. But also, I feel like Stephen Crowder at this point in his career, he's the guy who's going to push the envelope, create a conversation, not even create a conversation, push the envelope to where he'll get a lot of hate, he'll get the Twitter mob after him, and then he'll be like, YouTube censoring me, guys. Go join up at Mug Club where they won't censor. You know, that's the kind of the thing that they do. Now, there's nothing wrong with having a secondary streaming thing where people pay to watch you. That's dope. Great business model. But now they use the whole outrage. Oh, they're going to cancel me, guys. Go over there and help us uh, support the fight. Do the good deal. Like, that's what they do. Right? That's the business model. I'm just, the truth is I'm buying time because I do not want to. <laughs> you don't want to no, watch you it? Do it? No, you got to do it. It's trending right now. Lizzo is trending for iGest, for wearing uh, this stunning and brave dress. <laughs> Not at the dinner table. <laughs> now that fart noise out. I can smell that. And then, yeah. And we actually Huge have portion a, of... Yeah, that's what are you saying? No, you go ahead. No, we have... We actually have uh, an, uh, a view from another angle. Oh, that's right. We do have an yeah. exclusive, yeah. <laughs> Stunning. Uh, and in case you guys didn't get a good look at the dress, because that's obviously... <laughs> Here's we some other to. angles. We have some other pictures there. Oh, ah. wow. oh my word. That's, uh, is, is she dressed I, as an off-strip casino? Yeah. <laughs> Half yes. of Black Twitter tweeted, don't play with your food. Oh, oh my gosh. Let's see, like that, that's that corny white boy shit. Like Black Twitter, don't play. He does like the act. Like that shit, I don't know. That, I, I, just, I don't like throwing racist and all that shit on people. I don't, but like. When he do it, you know, when certain white people do it, it do look like you just really don't fuck with black people. That's how it, it, it give me the imagery of that. Now, I'm not saying he racist. I don't know. He be fuck with the Hodge twins, and they black, so, you know, he got those two black friends. So, I don't think he's racist. But the stereotypes, the characters, the way he did, the accents he does, for like, to him, every black person talks the same. I mean, you'll see that later on in the clip as well. But it's, it's just cringy shit, right? Like, I can, I can honestly say... When it comes to certain things, maybe not socially, right? But certain things I can agree with conservatives on, right? And I can honestly see that if conservatives wanted people to get on their side, a lot more people would probably agree with things they said. But when they see, like, when they put this nigga as the forefront, they're kind of like, you know what? I can't really get down with that. You know, maybe if it was just you telling me your ideas. Maybe he had a good point to the Lizzo thing. Like, like you say, you know, it's not good to uh, for women to over-sexualize or something. But when you go with just the straight nastiness of it, you'll com completely deter people from even wanting to associate with your side. And that's the downfall of some conservative new media. Now, he is a big channel. He has like five million. So like him trying to convert people ain't really that big of a deal. But I can see why some people won't want to go over here and, and say that I believe in these certain things, maybe some similar things that he does, because you don't want to be associated with the shit that he does. I can understand that. How is that? I, I, oh, boy. Look, I've heard of white people being out of touch with black American culture, right, but right. this is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, 
Like, I just, uh, uh not and she flipped touch. you off in the picture, too. I was like, thanks. I mean, Look I don't, fat I don't think there was this much of a gap between, for example, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, and, like, the Supremes, the Temptations. Mm, yeah. yeah. It wasn't like, I want to hold your hand, eat my ass, in my dress. It was like, no, they're a little bit more yeah. soulful. We all got to but then look how he's trying to say like the white culture connecting it like there's such a like do we not see these white pop star chicks titties out ass out like Katy Perry wasn't popping it Christina Aguilera wasn't doing dirty shit Britney Spears wasn't doing dirty shit like so there's really no divide between white music culture and black music culture maybe country music and black music but not when it comes to like pop artists and the shit that they do that are white girls that are pop artists. They do the same shit. Ass out the award shows, titties out, shaking, dancing, doing the same thing. It's just not as relevant, obviously, because uh, black music is the most popular, most talked about music today. So we don't really see a lot of the pop shit on a mainstream level uh, everywhere. My bad. Yes. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's as close as a gap between like her meals, but it's definitely. A, it's I, think a, it, I think it's a constant. Yeah, yeah it's a constant. It's more of a. It's more of a nutrition morphine trip, really. Her nutritionist has to be. It's the easiest job on earth. Yes. It's like, yeah, go ahead, have it. Can I put butter on? Before you finish that phrase, do you have to ask? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got my nutritionist, I got my dietitian, I got my professional air fryer, I got my Amish butter churners full time. You should talk about the axes. Have you, uh, uh, like, I'm not trying to be nitpicky with comedy shit, but I just don't think this is comedy. Because I, none of it has been funny except for the fart part. And that wasn't even really them. I mean, they probably implemented, but that was about it. So, I just don't, I, don't know. I just feel like they be losing me with that shit. Because, like, bro, if you've heard Lizzo talk, that ain't even how she talked, dog. Like, he used the same black voice for every black person. So, like I said, that's his shtick. Push the line. Um, get in trouble on YouTube. Tell everybody, come follow me on my exclusive site where I get, where you get the exclusive, where YouTube can't cop, whatever the fuck they do. You know, you know the thing to get the money. You know what they do. But that's my video on that. Now, I do believe Lizzo set herself up for the things and the shit that she got on Twitter because she got to know already when she stepped out the house, she's going to be attacked. Even though she's going to literally an adult party where there's also other women that was there dressed, you know, maybe not all the way out there like her, but they there, you know, it was a dance hall party. We see Meg was there. We see Normani, Tiana Taylor had like a little see-through thing. I don't know if she had the titties out or whatever, but it was a little bit see-through. Um, she wasn't the only one, right? And obviously Lizzo's getting the shit because... Uh, she's a bigger lady. That's not even a, we know, right? I don't know what people like to sugarcoat. Like, oh, why is she's a bigger lady? If it was a smaller lady, if Rihanna did this, these guys wouldn't be talking about it. We know that. Social media wouldn't be talking about. It. They'd be saying how much she slayed. We know it's because she's big. Same thing with Lil Nas X. We know why they're talking shit about Lil Nas X dancing on stage. It's because he's gay. We know these things. We got to stop acting oblivious to why these things are happening. And honestly, they're most likely never going to change. They're still going to continue to go on. But let me know what you guys leave the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so every single time that I post. See you guys next time. It's your buddy friend. Peace.